Hi guys, welcome back to DeFi Daily. Today we'll talk about a specific tool that gives you the opportunity to explore the market in order to find the best opportunities. Many of you have asked to me which kind of tools I'm using, how I am able to discover new tools, new protocols, and so on. And one of the tools that I'm using is this one that I think that is pretty useful. And I will explain exactly how you have to use it and what kind of information can give to you. And this is something that is really important because it really gives you an overview, a much broader overview than just looking, for example, on DeFi Llama, CoinGecko and whatever. Just before you start, guys, remember that everything I'm doing here is just educational. My goal is literally giving you different tools, different opportunities in order to better understand what's going on into this market. It's not about financial advice. And also remember, if you like what I'm doing, if you want to stay always updated about DeFi, the best way is just subscribe, just press the subscribe button. And if you want to also help me, leave a big thumbs up and drop a comment. Let's start immediately. The app that I want to talk about is called DAP. The website is DAP.com. This application is exploring the market and has become famous because it is working more precisely on the social signals. Because yes, as you can see from here about token rank, there are three different rankings about orders, active address and transfer volume that are all of them useful metrics. But the main reason why DAP has become famous is because they are producing a new kind of rank that is called social rank. This rank is updating every three days, so be aware and always check in which moment that kind of rank will be updating because also be aware that social signals are something that is really volatile. It is possible that for some reason a bot or someone is trying to manipulate the social signals, just trying to put in into the socials many different contents that are not valuable. So just be aware of that. In any case, don't worry because later on I will explain to you exactly how you can find this number and how you can analyze it into the best way. Let's have a look on how we can use this app. The uh, basic way is just going to DAP ranking, click on it, and you will redirect it to this page. This page is a summary of all the rankings, and you can explore them in two different ways using two different menus. The first one is giving you the opportunity to select which uh, blockchain you are interested in. For example, let's say that we want to check only the protocols that are on Ethereum. You can click on Ethereum and you will find all the different uh, information about Ethereum. Plus, we can also identify which category we are interested in. For example, we can select finance. And selecting finance, we will redirect it into the ranking about finance. Once we have done it, we have to understand uh, which metrics we are interested in. We can select uh, 24 hours users, 24 hours transaction volume, or social signal. Social signal is exactly what I was telling you a moment. For example, if we click on it, we can uh, organize all the data filtering from the uh, project that has the highest social signal to all the others that are having a lower social signal. Right now, the project, at least under the category finance and on Ethereum that has uh, the highest social signal is WePig. Just be aware that if you put your cursor uh, over the uh, social signal, where is the uh, question mark, you will find all the information about uh, the uh, social signal plus when the next update will come. And as you can see, the next update will come tonight, so today. So the data that we are seeing right now are data that has been collected a couple of days ago, so are not anymore uh, the cutting edge data that are available on the market. In any case, in the moment when you see something that is interesting to you, what you can do is just click on it. And once you have clicked on it, you will find different information about, in this case, what is it. Down here, you can find also a couple of reviews. And here you can find information about social signals, users, transaction volume, and so on. And here you can find also the token profile and different kind of information that 
could be useful for you. Once you have understood it, we can start exploring this tool under another kind of point of view. If you click on Topic up here into the upper menu, you can find this interface. Here you can decide to explore the market by category. For example, if we click on DeFi, that is the topic that we are interested in at most, you will be able to find different information about all of the uh, application that has been developed only into the DeFi space. And here you can find uh, the ranking that is uh, organized by, is filtered by social signal. And as you can see, there are two metrics when we are talking about a social signal. One is the absolute value. In this case, for example, for the uh, rank number one, it is uh, 86. But on the other side, there is also how this number has moved uh, by percentage into the last uh, period. And as you can see, for example, Liberal Finance has a lower amount of absolute social signal, but on the other side, it has been growing a lot. Same story when we are talking about, for example, here in the number six, Thorium uh, Finance and so on. And this is pretty interesting if you're trying to understand what are the different projects that are receiving much hype in a certain moment. Be aware of one thing, because um, yes, that's true that this could be pretty useful if you want to explore the market. But it doesn't mean that for the only reason that you are seeing, for example, one of, we can take this one, that is a number four. It doesn't mean that for the only reason that is receiving a lot of attention from the point of view of a social signal, it doesn't mean that it is a good opportunity for you in terms of yield. Finding social signals is just the first step. When you have checked, you can use this kind of ranking in order to explore the market and find new protocols. Once you have found one of them, in that moment you have to start a second kind of analysis. And this kind of analysis is more about a fundamental analysis and let's call it just a contingent analysis because what you want to understand is, okay guys, into the long term and the fundamental analysis is just for it, the project could be good or not. But another story is into the short term. Into the short term, the ECS project safe enough. So for example, it has some kind of KYC. You can check it, for example, Ragdoc, or you can check if that project has some kind of KYC. It is a smart contract secure. What kind of feedbacks we are receiving from the community, what they are saying into their Discord server and so on. So starting from DAP, you can start to explore the market, but just pay attention that it doesn't mean that for the only reason that a certain protocol is receiving right now a so high social signal, it means that it is the best opportunity for you. This is just a way to find different protocols that are otherwise it would be much more difficult for you to find out. Another way that you can use a DAP is just clicking up here into a market into this uh, uh, widget here. Once you have clicked on it, you will find this interface. At this interface, it is uh, allowing you to uh, explore by uh, dApps, blockchain or category. And this is pretty useful because, for example, if we try to check um, a Ethereum DAP a volume, you can see how it has changed into the last, uh, for example, they are saying 90 days. As you can see, at the end of December, we had a peak, but even more clear is the chart about active DAP user. As you can see, in November, December, we had much more users compared to where we are right now. And this is a good indicator also to tell us in which situation the market is. The market is uh, suffering the DeFi space and not only, but the whole uh, crypto space, not because the fundamentals of uh, uh, the protocols are uh, diminishing and not because the vision has changed, but for the only reason that uh, due to a uh, FUD, due to uh, the volatility of the market, less users are using DeFi and cryptos. So a good indicator could be in the moment when you are seeing that this chart 
is uh, keep increasing again the level of uh, new users, so the active users, it could be a good indicator that means that the market is starting to recover. So as you can understand, we can use this tool in a different kind of ways. For one side, we can find different protocols that could be new protocols that you didn't know about them, on the other side, you can also start using this tool in order to understand what's going on into the uh, market. One last thing that I want to share with you is, okay, guys, using this tool could be pretty nice because it is giving you the opportunity to find different uh, uh, protocols and so on. What I'm suggesting to you is use this uh, tool with other tools. For example, the other day I showed you this one, Dover Metrics, that is quite useful because this tool is giving you the ability to understand which uh, VC is investing in different kind of protocols and uh, which are the protocols that are backed by uh, venture capitals. And this is something that uh, it is helpful because it gives you opportunity to don't be exposed only to protocols that are uh, having a completely unknown um, team. Be aware that if a VC is making a certain kind of protocol, yes, maybe you don't like VCs, you don't like that idea, and you prefer to see a bottom-up process, uh, a protocol that is coming from the community. But uh, always remember that the meaning of having a protocol that is backed by VC means that someone has done some kind of uh, due diligence. So we can be more uh, assured that that protocol is legit and there is at least someone behind that protocol that is trying to push it. Yes, we know that the risk on the other side is that venture capital will simply dump their tokens in order to take profit and this could be detrimental for that project. But on the other side, it is helpful because it means that the project is legit, that someone has checked the background of each team member, that someone is trying to push in terms of giving skills about marketing uh, or operations and so on. So uh, keep an eye also on this tool because it can really uh, give you more opportunities to find the best project gems into this market. Guys, so let me know if you know some other tool that could be useful to use into this uh, uh, market. I hope that this overview about DAP and also these insights about uh, uh, venture capitalists gives you a better understanding on how you can approach this market. And remember, if you wanna stay always updated, a good idea is just subscribe. And if you wanna also help me, leave a big thumbs up and drop a comment. Guys, I will see you tomorrow with another video. Bye.